shortage trends. Number three, take decisive action. A perfect storm is brewing or a global food crisis. That's why I'm telling everyone to read the new book, Rising Prices, Empty Shelves. Warning signs that trigger the deadliest famines in history. Don't get caught unprepared when the crisis hits. This book is only available at risingpricesemptyshelves.com. You'll also get a free copy of Supermarket Survival, How to Cut Your Grocery Bills in Half. Again, that website is risingpricesemptyshelves.com. That's risingpricesemptyshelves.com. Hundreds of nations have fallen to tyranny in the last century alone. This is our last chance to not relive history. As we're finishing off this agenda, uh, they'll be pulling the rug from underneath the Americans at home. I have tremendous influence on our president and Congress, and they really are calling the shots. I think it's incumbent upon all of us as American citizens to pay attention. Fall of the Republic identifies the enemies of our nation, the criminal offshore cartel hell-bent on destroying sovereignty and on its ashes constructing world government. Tim Geithner, Bernanke, they're arsonists. They're asking for more matches, and the Congress is saying, who do we make the check out to? Today, seems like nobody does care. And right now in Washington, D.C., we have seen a fall of the Republic. Get your copy of Fall of the Republic on DVD at Infowars.com or watch it online right now in super high quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. Hi, folks. This is Alex Jones, and I want to tell you about the Silver Lungs Generator. Now you can produce pure and endless colloidal silver and deliver the solution directly into the bloodstream by breathing the solution through the lungs. The respiratory system is the first line of defense for airborne pathogens and viruses. The Silver Lungs Generator infuses the respiratory system with your self-produced nano-silver solutions and also delivers the silver nanoparticles instantly into the bloodstream. With continued legislation threatening the sale of nano-silver products, you can now produce pure and endless colloidal silver with the Silver Lungs Generator. Very easy to follow step-by-step -step instructions are provided making production fast and simple. Go to www.silverlungs.com today and learn more about the breakthrough technology of the Silver Lungs Generator. That's www.silverlungs.com. A very wealthy U.S. citizen is predicting that in 2011, we will witness the most important day in America in more than 50 years. He says it will change everything about our lives. The way you shop, travel, invest, educate your children, and even how you take care of your health and your own family. Now, this man has made some outrageous predictions over the years. The crazy part is, he's usually right. You see, he predicted the collapse of GM, Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, and America's biggest mall owner, General Growth Properties. In fact, Barron's called his work a dire prophecy. Recently, he created a video, which you can watch online for free, detailing his biggest and most important prediction yet, and it's a real eye-opener. I can't stress this enough. You should at least watch this free video online today. He explains everything you need to know, including simple steps you can take to protect yourself. You can find the video at www.endofamerica3.com. That's endofamerica, the number three, dot com. Watch the free video at www.endofamerica3.com. That's endofamerica3.com. Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Okay, John, Danielle, John, Debbie, Jane, Angie, Nichols, Nicholas, Joe, Robert, Kevin, Karen, Howard. I'll get to all of you. I want to play our man on the street uh, building seven piece here in a moment. But to illustrate the point of what I'm covering, uh, Human Events on Friday did an interview with Donald Rumsfeld. And, and in case you're doubting their headline, you can go uh, listen to the interview below uh, where the reporter um, talks to him. And Rumsfeld, here's the headline, attack imminent if Congress cuts defense. And he said, if any cuts are made, there will be another attack. 
If we make this mistake, we're doomed to suffer another attack of some kind, and our intelligence will be less strong and less effective. It's very simple. You know, the Soviet Union is gone. They need a new threat. And this is a full-spectrum threat that can never be defeated, is shadowy, and you can frame anybody you want. You can get rid of the Bill of Rights, the Constitution. Did you know that in every major city in the United States, they ran huge checkpoints and randomly searched people's cars? D.C., New York, Boston, Dallas, um, Los Angeles. But the borders are basically wide open. And the underwear bomber, and I told you this a month and a half before the State Department admitted it. That's how good our intelligence is here. That the U.S. government got the underwear bomber on. He was so drugged he couldn't talk. When the witnesses we had on who were on the flight with him said the sharp-dressed man without a passport, without anything, got him on the plane. People at the gate were like, well, no. And the person's like, basically national security. And they were like, okay. Let me say that again. Kurt Haskell and his wife, and now we learn others, witnessed him gotten on the plane. They witnessed the firecracker, all of it. And the FBI came and tried to get them to change their story, basically. They wouldn't. And then the State Department got freaked out and said, the undersecretary said, yeah, we were ordered to get him on the plane. We were ordered to give him a visa. And he didn't have a pass. Yes, we were ordered by an unnamed U.S. intelligence agency. And then they always spin it. Oh, well, I'm sure they were tracking him and wanted to know who he was going to meet with. Bull. 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 The guy that ran all these people, the, the cutout name they think they're talking to is Anwar al-Awlaki. Every time they're run by a government agent. Did you hear me earlier? You can type in Israel founded Hamas or type in Israel created fake Al-Qaeda and stage bombings. And you will get the Israeli newspapers, not me. This is in the Israeli news. The Israelis get angry. The, the, the population does about this. Every time there's about to be a peace deal or something, they either let a group do what they're planning or they actually go out and do it themselves. This is in the Israeli news. Don't tune in and just say I'm making that up. Remember, we were conspiracy theorists till uh, 2004 the 40th anniversary of Gulf of Tonkin that got us into Vietnam. Declassified, it was staged. Of course, we were never conspiracy theorists. It was in the San Diego newspaper when the ships came back six months later, and one of the captains got off and said this was all staged. I can't morally go along with this lie. See, what you think a conspiracy theory is is because it becomes a rumor because people lose the original source documents. It's like a game of telephone. And see, I didn't record the news saying they were going to blow up Building 7 on 9-11. And I was just telling people for about two years, and callers were like, yeah, I saw that and heard that too. But only if you'd heard me and seen me. Then, because the internet got so much faster and, and saving things got so much cheaper, all the old recordings started getting put out. Government made mistakes, re-aired their coverage from CNN. Remember, on, on one of the anniversaries, they just aired the same day stuff again. People were like watching cops going, get back, they're going to bring down seven. We've been ordered to get you back, they're about to blow it up. And the firefighters going, you saw the lava, molten steel. There's no way Jet Fool did it. You saw the bombs going off. It was popping out. Boom, boom, boom. Remember all those clips we played to you over and over and over and over again? Now, I told you I'd uh, tell you what Rumsfeld said, and then I'll play this clip and then go to your calls. Rumsfeld, attack imminent if Congress cuts defense. Now, how, how transparent does it have to get? I remember four years ago, five years ago, there was a big scandal with all of the uh, big four network military commentators it turned out they were secretly still on Pentagon funds. Some of them were getting paid up to half a million a year to put out certain messages, talking points. We learned with one of them, uh, with a general, he, he gave the interview in Cigar Aficionado. Uh, it uh, came out that, that he'd been told to go out and talk about how martial law might be needed. What was the commander's name in Iraq? He's from Texas. Ugh. He gave, a, uh, he gave a cigar aficionado interview. It'll pop my head in a minute. The point is, is it, it, it's a tape of all these guys in the room 
This was released by, by the Pentagon, strangely enough. And they're going, Mr. Rums Secretary Rumsfeld, we need another attack. You know it. And remember all the neocons wrote editorials saying a, another 9-11 attack would really be great, became a big controversy. And now all these Obama memos where he's being advised, sir, you must have a new attack if our agenda is going to get through. Sir, we need one. Tommy Franks, that's right. Thank you. Even, even Michael Savage and Glenn Beck have had to go public and say they're getting ready for a new Reichstag. Because if you're in advertising, if you're in media, you know what a talking point is. I don't follow talking points. But if you're in a big corporate organization, you get them. And it's the talking points. Ladies and gentlemen, somebody's, I, 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 I'm thinking about making a film just about this, or, or, or because it takes a lot of research or a short film just on the timeline, within five minutes on every news channel in the world, they all have the same talking point. British leaders, Israeli, U.S., French, all of them. We've got to give up our liberties. The world has changed forever. We're going to have to have a war on terror. We've got to invade Syria, Iraq, Iran, a list. It was a talking point. Osama bin Laden. And there's all these weird tapes of guys very well spoken, look just like operatives. They, they're not good spies because they look like textbook CIA. And their little baseball caps going, yes, I did see the buildings fall because of the jet fool and the pancaking, and it fell into its own self. And on other newscasts, similar looking guys at the same time just going, oh, yeah, I'm ready to be interviewed. Yes, uh, fell, of course, from the jet fuel and the, the pancaking. The fires were just too hot. Boom, 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 and you're watching it. Just like with JFK. In three different countries in the Pacific where they made a mistake. What was it? Thailand, uh, Australia, and one other. You can pull this up. Before Oswald was even arrested, before his name was released, hours before, they had Lee Harvey Oswald's photo and his name <laughs> because they got their time zones messed up. Any operation like this, they're going to mess up. Now, that key evidence came to us in multiple ways. Jane Stanley on, and, and, and another live channel both put out at the same time that Building 7 had fallen in on itself from fires and gave the official story. While Building 7 was right behind them, 25 minutes before it fell. Now, I went and did research about who gives the BBC their main internal feed, and it's Reuters. And I made videos and predicted. Now, BBC came out and said we were liars, it wasn't real video, which was insane. Then a month later, they said, okay, it was our real video, but we've lost the original tapes. Then We Are Change England talked to the reporters, and both reporters, when they were confronted, said, I never reported on 9-11. I remember taking my son to the theater that day, and the guy was obviously lying. And then people go, well, here's the, here's the video of it, you know, on a, on a laptop. And he goes, oh, now I do remember. Now, now, again, again, they were told to lie about it. Both definitely operatives. A lot of your national media are intelligence, or they get two paychecks. It's called Operation Mockingbird here in the U.S. Ladies and gentlemen, they, and then it, later I was, it was confirmed, Reuters had sent them, had jumped the gun on the detonation of Building 7. This is Alex Jones with five good reasons you should consider buying a solar power generator. Number one, new climate legislation could easily double or triple your electric bill. Number two, our new energy czar wants to control how much power your electric company allows you to have. It's true. Total government control of electricity in the name of smart grid technology is coming. Number three, in some areas of the country, the power grid is dangerously overloaded. And now new socialist legislation is only compounding the problem. Number four, dangerous weather is always a threat to local grids. Every year, thousands of families lose their power from weather-related outages. Number five, a solar power generator provides powerful backup insurance and peace of mind. Folks, I really believe in the solar power generators offered by Solutions from Science, one of my oldest sponsors. You can get more information at www.mysolarbackup.com. That's mysolarbackup.com. Remember, the government doesn't own the sun, so go to mysolarbackup.com or call 1-877-327-0365. Hello friends, Alex Jones here. You all know I've worked for years with Steve Shank and eFoods Direct. I have eFoods for my own emergency food supply. You know, Steve, life is different now for all of us, isn't it? Very